Hello, this is Bino. I'm an arborist and a certified tree worker. What I like to do on my channel is share tree climber tips with beginners and experts. What I have planned for today is to talk about one of three termination knots that ISA recognizes for their termination knots. It'll be on the bunt line. All right, let's get to it. I've been an evaluator for ISA for around 20 years now. And what I would like to see are people when they come and they're confident in the way they tie their termination knots. So what I'll do is I'll tie it in the way that I'd like to see someone come who is gonna take the test, tie the termination knot. Now this, this is gonna be something that's good for people who are interested in that. And even if you're not, it'd be a good learning experience if you're interested in uh, termination knot for tree climbing. So um, in the test, they'll give you choices of three different knots. This one will be a bunt line. So what you wanna do, you have one minute to tie the knot. You want to, you'll get there, they'll give you, will ask you which one you wanna tie. This time we say bunt line. You'll have one minute to tie it. You'll remember, you'll wanna tie, dress, and set it. Um, so say I'm the, the, the um, person that's gonna be taking the exam. So um, I've already got to the point where we're gonna tie and we're gonna do a bunt line. You mentioned that you're doing the bunt line. So you'll get your rope, you'll put your running end through the clip, you'll bring it up, and then you'll tie your bunt line. In tying the bunt line, you'll put your running end through your, your loop, your eye, you'll bring the running end around, and you'll tie essentially a clove hitch around the standing part of your line. When you're doing this for your, term, your tail, you have to have at least five diameter lengths for your tail. Once I have the clove hitch around my standing part, now I'm gonna snug this up, make it tight. I'm gonna tie, dress, and set it. I've tied it, now I would pass it to the evaluator. And that would be a completed knot. So in this, you definitely wanna make sure that this tail is five diameter lengths. It doesn't require a stopper knot, but at least five diameter lengths. I'm going to tie it again, but I'm going to do it slower. Remember that it'll have to be tied within a minute. Um, but I'll just break it down one more time. You'll get your running end. You'll put it through your clip. Now I'll go upward and around my standing. And once I go around my standing, I'll go over and through creating a clove hitch. Remember that you want to make your tail at least five diameter lengths. So now that I have a clove hitch, I'm gonna snug this clove hitch tight, okay? Now you have to make sure that when you're tying this, this tail end has to be closest to the clip or carabiner that you're using. If this is on the opposite side and on top, this knot can be a fatal knot. You have to tie it correctly, you'll snug tie, dress, and set it. And once you have it tied, dressed, and set, now your knot is complete. You would pass it to the evaluator. What I'll next tie is an example if it were tied wrong. So you'll still take your rope through your clip, loop, or eye. Now, if I were to go upward and start on the bottom and then work my way up and make a clove. Okay, now I'll get this snug. Now I have a clove hitch, but the tail is on top. Now I'll snug it down to the clip. This is definitely wrong. And what would happen is it wouldn't snug up. And if you were climbing, this could come loose and you would f it could fall out. You'd be tied in with a half hitch. So the other way with the tail on the bottom, once you put your weight on it, it really cinches up and it holds it in place. It won't allow that tail to come undone. What next I'm gonna do is I'll put my saddle on and I'll put weight on it just to show you what the bunt line looks like under weight. So what I'll do is I'll clip my termination to my ring and then I'm just gonna put a little bit of my body weight on it and just push and let you see how that sets. Yeah, so 
Now after I put my body weight, I can see that it held really well. It's more secure looking. So what's good about a bunt line is, you know, if you were going to do an anchor, sometimes, well with an anchor you definitely need two pieces of rope to go through a clip. So a bunt line is a little bit easier because you only have to put one piece of rope through the loop. And say if you were going to use a double fisherman, it only uses one, but in the way the double fisherman works, it's a lot harder to take off of a solid ring. Um, yeah, so with a bunt line, after you have it weighted, now what you could do is you push, and it'll come off undone a little bit easier than, say, some of the other termination knots. And there, there you go with a bunt line as a termination. The best way to study this knot is to do it over and over along with the video until you have it tied, dress, and set and you feel confident. You wanna make sure that once you get to that point, then you tie it without the video and then you check your work. And you definitely wanna um, put some weight on it and see if you got it. You wanna to try to do it within a minute um, and you, you wanna do your best not to fumble. It's important that you really learn how to tie it because if you're taking the test, you'll good chance you can be nervous. And if you're nervous, you won't, you, you might forget some things. So if you tie it like easily, well, there's a good chance you'll be able to do it within that minute uh, time limit. Well, there you go, the bunt line hit. So this is how the bunt line would be presented in the ISA tree climber exam. Ho hopefully it's helpful for you. Remember that you want to tie this and practice it until you have it down and you're not fumbling around. Um, hope this video has been helpful for you. Comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you like what we do. Um, also, we're going to be coming up with more videos real soon on the different knots that are required in the ISA exam. All right, take care. We'll see you next time. Thank you.